Hey guys and welcome to a brand new week of this is Treasure Hunter Simulator. Why am I playing this? Because it's got simulator in the title, you know? <laughs> it's my fucking channel, is what I always do, I don't know why. Uh, right, we're doing a story mode. Uh, it's a treasure hunting simulator where you go and hunt treasures. I think that's about it. Uh, a week of is when I do seven episodes, one a day, for a week, that's, uh, that's how that works. Uh, and we we see how uh, how the game is and how you guys like it. And if you guys like it and I like it, then it becomes a bit longer than a week. And uh, yeah, that's just an excuse for me to be like, yeah, this game's shit, but I'll give a, f a fair bash and drop. But sometimes, um, sometimes we come across some absolute diamonds. Welcome to Treasure Hunter. There's a tutorial level on which we teach you how to play with... Calm down. Which we teach you how to play and find treasures quickly and effectively if you've already know how to play it. Nope, I don't. Wasid moves me. Look around my mouse, okay? I found some treasures, there's a culverin! Oh, found some cannonballs. Some big black balls. PDA? This is your world map. Here we'll find a top down view of your current location with important landmarks mapped. Alright, sweet. So there's a thing there. Uh, when you get close to your treasure, your detector will start emitting a low frequency sound. Additionally, you will see a small icon in the lower right corner of your screen. Oh, on this side. Wait, what? I thought. That's where we're going. I'm pretty much in it. Close to treasure. When you get close to your treasure, your detector will start emitting a low frequency sound. Additionally, you will see a small icon appear in the bottom right corner of your screen. I don't understand. Like... We're at Gettysburg, okay. I don't... Close to treasure, you can focus on your detector and enter search mode. This mode will allow you to locate the treasure and dig it up. Oh. This way. Would you manage to place your detector above treasure and make a specific sound? Ah! Okay. Now I've got it, so I need to dig it up. So... Get your shovel out, sir! Perfect. It's a dildo! It's, a, it's an old button. Wonderful. How much is it worth? Every time you dig up a treasure, the identification mode will start. In this mode, you can look at the treasure freely and choose to identify it. Keep in mind that only identified treasures can be added to your collection. Identify the treasure and place it in your inventory. Keep in mind that trash items will not need to be identified. Fabulous. It's a normal rarity treasure of other metal. Poor condition. 25 bucks. Not bad. 
Uh, it's an old button made out of brass. Uh, all, and at all, in all likelihood, has been used in a uniform of some kind. Judging by the material manufacture method, a uniform of World War One or World War Two are the most likely candidates. Oh, it's mine now, motherfucker. After picking up and identifying a treasure, we'll be placing your inventory. After you return to your office, you'll place all of your treasures in a safe spot and catalog them in your computer. On your inventory and check what you've got. Push I. An old baton. Each one you visit will also have a, a special treasure called a legendary. These items are very rare and can only be found if you get some tips on where to look. Once you've found and identified and stored a legendary item, will greatly increase your prestige within the treasure hunting society. Try to find a legendary item in this map. Using everything you've learned so far. Okay, so let's try and find this legendary item then. I'm like Lara Croft, except instead of guns, I've got a metal detector. Oh, look, graves. It's the perfect place to go and dig up stuff. So I've heard. So we basically have to charge about this map. So that's showing me where we've dug and where I've walked. Okay. Oh! Aha! Okay. So, what is this? Diggy diggy! Fucking, the music in this game is really loud. Oh, it's a cannonball! There was loads of them back there. Could have just had that, mate. Small round lead ball, likely from a musket. Oh, it's a musket ball. Uh, treasure rare. Good condition, $31! Balls of projectile using muskets given the size of this ball. It could either be from early muskets or even an ar arquebus, arquebus, a gunpowder weapon preceding muskets. Uh, this, in turn, means it dates back possibly as early as the 15th century or as late as the early 17th. The projectile of a musket is correctly called a ball, not a bullet. Interestingly enough, the word bullet is derived from the French word boulette, which in turn roughly means little ball. That's just a rare, it's not a, it's not a legendary, it's not a legendary. I can't even jump. <gasps> oh, baby! That was quick. And that quick. Diggy diggy. What am I gonna get? Please be a gold bar. Need to start off correct. It's a key. It's a rusty, rusty ass key. It's an old key. I shall spray paint it. It's a treasure, a normal one, an iron key, tolerable condition, worth eleven dollars. This key is made out of iron and dates back to the 19th century. Judging by its size, pin, wards, and bits, this key was used either for a padlock or a lock in a drawer or small cabinet. The earliest known lock and key device was discovered in the ruins of Nineveh, the cap the capital of ancient Assyria. I hope you're learning lots and lots of junk, ladies and germs. Oh. Hello. Oh shit. So I need to I need to head around here. Hello? Oh! Nailed it. What are we gonna get? Oh. I, I have no idea what that is. 
It's a full-on gun! The hell? Uh, possibly 19th century. 19th century mus muzzle-loaded musket. Yay, it was at Springfield. Hey, that's a legendary. Exceptional rarity. Iron. Good. Priceless. A Springfield model 1855 rifled musket made between 1856 and 1862, where it was superseded by the model 1861 from the American Civil War. Back then it was a revolutionary weapon that changed the battlefield. Its rifled barrel and the use of the minie ball not only increased the musket's effective range but also the accuracy. The use of the new Maynard tape primer meant that the precision cap did not have to be manually placed and also prevented many of the misfires which in turn res resulted in significantly faster reloading times compared to earlier muskets. Back in those days how often a soldier could fire his musket actually trumped accuracy and range. Yep, because they just waited until folk were close enough that you'd probably hit them. Good job! Congratulations, you found the first legendary and thus completed the tutorial. Go back to the office now and learn more about what you can do there. Best escape and return to office. <laughs> Unstuck. Perfect. That's what every game needs. Ah! Wow! Alright, I'm doing alright for myself. Eh. Uh, Let's open a treasure app. The map is the main view when you enter the computer and is used to set destinations for your next adventures. To use it, simply select a pin on the world map and press travel. Before you go, you can also read more about the location and the information panel to the right of the map. I've got 20 bucks, one prestige. Uh, we're going to a Bavarian lake. <laughs> uh, let's see Bavaria, Germany. You won't get there for 20 bucks, mate. Unless that's where you live, then probably you would. Uh, well, nothing really exciting has ever happened there. The uh, Alat Lake is one of those locations on every tre treasure hunter's radar. One of the reasons for this area is fame among the selected group of people are rumours of it being the resting place of Hitler's gold. While likely, while likely untrue, as shown by evidence of endless divers trying and failing to find it, the area is known for yielding interesting finds, be it from those of the First or Second World War. An old German pickle helm would for sure be an interesting addition to any collection. I don't understand what this means, but sure. Maybe that'll come into the game in the, uh, in the subsequent levels. Alright, let's check our map and see where we can go. Okay, so there's definitely some land to traverse, some areas of interest. Is that what they're called? Historical objects, indeed. I need a pickle helm. Just call me Stijo von Pickelhelm. Oh, fucking hell. I've literally just stepped off the... Just stepped off the boat. Actual oh shit, okay. Ha! Nailed it! <laughs> Pretty much stood on the bloody treasure. What is it? It's gotta be like a bottle cap or something. Shite. Oh, it's a carabiner. Some twat's carabiner. Trash. Worth a dollar. Great. Nice, I just got a, a achievement called experienced. Perfect. Oh, you guys can see those, nice. We're sliding back and forth just so we can... Oh! Allowed to just go and dig? Is that a thing? What the fuck is this? Hello? Piece of junk. Aye, right, piece of junk. An oddly shaped bit of metal, likely a. What? Likely a piece of 
a device or machine of sorts, hardly of any value. Probably not, no. It looks like a freaking camping peg. peg. It's rare, apparently. A shaped metal pin from a rather modern product, like a piece of camping gear, or like, pretty much of no value. We top it, it's a rare treasure. We're $16. Don't fucking give me your no value pish. Oh! Metal man, there's all sorts of metal junk that you can just pick up. That's me, I'm a trash collector. That's what this game is. Trash collector simulator. Don't give them ideas. Gaping maw. An old needle! Oh, it is an old one. Yep, spray paint it, mate. Okay. Judging by the uh, material lens shape and especially the eye hole, uh, the the hole referred to as the eye, this needle likely is likely to date back to the 18th or even 17th century. Needles have been used as early as the prehistoric era, when needles made out of thorns or rock fragments have been used with sinew or plant material as thread for sewn together animal skins. The earliest documented needle dates back 61,000 years in Africa. Bone needles were used as far as 50,000 years ago, while copper needles have da been dated back to 4,400 uh, 4, BC. First iron needle dates back to the 3rd century BC. It's right there! <laughs> Fucking hell. Is this just a nail? It's a, literally a nail. This is a bent nail. Ugh. Oh, I seen it. There we go. My guy's literally the worst man. Just gets junk. That's it. Just junk. I want like a freaking sword or something. A nine millimeter pistol casing. That's it. Spray paint it, mate. Spray paint that baby. Uh, it's a casing for a nine by nineteen millimeter pistol cartridge, also known as a parabellum or Luger based on its origin. Developed in 1902 in Germany for the Luger, it gained massive popularity after World War One. Today it's the world's most popular cartridge for pistols and submachine guns used by militaries and law enforcement all over the world. Alright. I feel like we're... Hello. Okay. The spray painting thing, I don't understand that. I guess they've got to have like a... Oh, fucking another nail. Perfect. Just what I always wanted. This one's straight though. Now I'll get two dollars for it. It's a long nail. Nope, just one. Right, fuck us for a malarkey. Oh my god. There we go. But hopefully the... Hopefully there's some like upgrades or something. Oh, ring pull! Perfect! Don't fuck with them, I slice my finger open with one of those. <laughs> well, not not like a, a regular ring pull like that, but... That's the thing, I've got no idea, like... Oh, nailed it. I've got no idea where I'm supposed to be looking. You know? But I need to get the legendary. That's, that's, that's a button. Is it? What's that button? It's a Nazi cock shield. Oh, it's an old button. 
There you go, I'll help you spray it, mate. The button's very old indeed. Uh, material manufacturing technique and ornamentation suggest this button either dates back to 14th or 15th century Europe. Buttons have been already in use in ancient Rome, but there are even older examples. Uh, in China, the oldest buttons are believed to be more than 5,000 years old, made out of curved shells in the Indus Valley. Tolerable condition, 26 bucks. Motherfuckers are savage. Oh yeah, that's tolerable. Of course it's tolerable. Fucking ancient. Ah. There you go. You know those folk that actually sit and do this all day? Hey, I found a wee key again. Looks like the exact same key. Oh no, it's not. Slightly different. This is an old key. No shit, sir. He was made out of iron and dates back to the 19th century, judging by its size. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. I don't really need to... It's a similar key. Fucking is, mate. Fucking, it's there. He gets a, he gets a bit, of, um, a bit of Rudy Doody sometimes. What was that? That was a bouncing Betty, and you're dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it's another button. Oh, it's just a piece of shit button. No. Give me some treasure! I'm sick of this nickel and dime shit! I want to be a millionaire already! That's this. Is that a coin? A quan? What's that quan? Very old gold coin. Oh, it's a gold one! Holy shit! It's a ducat! Ducat minted in Habsburg. While their ducats were minted up until 1871, this one is significantly older, based on its design shown Leopold I in reference to the mint in Graz. This ducat has been struck between 1676 and 1682. Nice! 42 bucks, baby! Where the bloody heck am I? Okay, so we're round here. I need me some of that Nazi gold. What would happen if you found, like, Hitler's hidden gold? Would you be forced to, like, give it back or something? I would guess so. That's another fucking shitty ass key. Suck on Madongus with your shitty fucking keys. It's the exact same key! Someone actually lost both of their keys. I mean, I suppose that one was in. <laughs> Bling! Oh, shut up. I was to say, I suppose that one was in better condition. I'd be pissed, man. Like, see if there was like a rando fucking treasure hunter with a stripping metal detector just digging wee holes. Just leaving little molehills everywhere. Be like, yo, quit it. That'd, be it. That'd probably be the extent of the conversation. Yo, quit it. That's another freaking shell casing. Uh, it's a nine millimeter parabellum dating back to the oh no, it's a forty-five. Casing for a forty-five ACP pistol cartridge. Very likely World War Two. Shortly thereafter, the AC forty-five ACP cartridge was designed in nineteen o five by John Browning and gained massive popularity due to Colt's nineteen eleven pistol, the standard issue sidearm of the United States Armed Forces from nineteen eleven to nineteen eighty-six. Yeah, nineteen eleven still used nowadays. Oh. 
Diggy, diggy. I've got to say, this guy's a remarkably good digger. Good wait. Can I choose just to leave these keys? Are they worth anything? Ah! Uh, a third of the exact same keys. And around here. I obviously can't dig this shit. That's weird. What you got for me? Please. I need big ducats. Oh, it's a ball cat! Perfect. Now if there's a nuclear fallout, we'll be well equipped. Concentration face, man. No, you can't, obviously, so you see my face, but there's, there's a serious concentration face going on. That's another little button. It's not the same fucking button that we got before, mate. Oh, it's a lot better, though. A lot better quality. That's cool, I mean, like, there's. I oh, know, it's kind of cool. Freaky symbols mean. Right, gold bar. You wouldn't even be able to find a gold bar though with a metal detector, surely. Oh great, it's a fucking rusty nail. Not like that, you pervert. Great, I'll sell that for a fucking dollar. Why can't I dig from here? Where the fuck do you want me to dig from? Okay. Apparently I didn't like the cut of my jib. Oh, another button! I'm gonna be the richest motherfucker from selling shitty old buttons. Dollar. Beautiful. They're worth my time. What the fuck is going on up here? Nailed it. Digging a hole. I'm digging a hole. Nobody knows why I'm digging a hole. What is this? Is it another piece of shit? Hello? Oh nice, it's like a dented musket ball. That's cool. Twenty five bucks. Mind if I do? There. I don't know if those uh, those little symbols on the the buildings are supposed to be the clues or what to get the legendary treasures. Oh great! It's another nail. Might as well take it home. It's another dollar. Bear in my pocket. This is trash, thank you. Thank you for telling me that. Well, one man's trash is another man's... Yeah, no, I'm not paying any bills with that, am I?
There we go. Jesus. That's the thing. I'm guessing that these symbols on these trees mean something towards finding some treasure. Like some actual treasure. What's another 46 button? Value? 25 bucks. Okay. Unless those signs are literally just to tell you what way to go or something. What the fuck is that? It's a saucepan lid? Or is that another bloody bottle cap? Not a fucking bottle cap. Great. So that there is an arrow. I don't understand this weird arrow shite. Oh, I can't, I honestly, I can't just fucking ignore it. So the game hasn't actually, you know, told me what I'm searching for here. Or if I can even find anything major. Like, that's what I'm saying, like, it's not telling me if I can find anything major here, or... I've got no jobs. Beautiful fucking picture. I've explored, like, all of this area. Oh, there's a wee duke up there, though. Well, let's jolly up there again. And see if there was something I'm missing that we do it. And then if so. Maybe that's where the uh, the blackjack and hookers is. I don't understand it. Oh, it was up here that I missed. Okay. So I've got this entire section here. I would have assumed that... Calm down. I would have assumed that the the symbols that are painted around the place would have had something to do with it. I mean, there's a fucking X marks the spot thing over here. But maybe, like I said, you do need... Got all this junk that I got. Cause yeah, we come look. See, that's got a symbol up there, but I think it must just be pointing to like something else. Cause look, it's a fucking crazy symbol. I know, considering that that is pretty much as far out that way as we can go. Oh, I didn't mean that. Is that oh, all yeah, right? That's cool. I guess we can't actually go into the water though. So I need to go, yeah, I need to go over at this house and search around this and no doubt find some more trash. So I'm guessing the point is you get like, later on anyway you'll get some, some clues and things and it'll help you actually find stuff so you're not just literally digging up every thing that you get and getting a load of fucking nails all the time. Great, keep giving me achievements, that doesn't fill me with a sense of fucking achievement at all. Right, what's this? It's gonna be a long week in it. Oh, what's that? Like a 305 or something? 
50 BMG. Uh, no doubt this is a casing from a massive 50, BM, uh, 50 cal BMG cartridge given to the location of likely World War II, where it's seen its first use on a massive scale, developed during World War I by John Browning for use in anti-aircraft weapons. It's been quickly adapted for other areas such as aircraft and naval weapons or the Browning 1921 machine gun. The 50 cal BMG cartridge has been part of every major conflict since World War II and is among the best known and mostly recognisable, most, most recognisable cartridges in the world. Unfortunately, I'm not one of these people that recognizes bullet cartridges for fuck's sake. A character might be. I'm not. There we go. Right, come on, man. All I want is this. I want. I want this legendary treasure. And button. I feel like this is how most uh, most treasure hunting actually goes. Oh, that's like a really shitty version of that other button that I've got. It's not 25 bucks though. Who's paying for this? It's like who's paying a dollar for my random nails that I find in the ground? Here mate, I found this. See if I see if I could actually like find these people. I'd be going to like Home Depot or being cure or that and just like buying a ton of nails. And just selling them back to them for a dollar a piece. Just be like, oh, look at this. Oh, found it. Ooh. This nail comes from freaking 19th century nail topia. I don't fucking know. Shank I care? Oh, I'll give you a dollar for it. Alright, cheers. I've got another 500 of them, mate. Oh, yeah, I'll give you a dollar for them all. <laughs> I did do like a super cut of me just finding shit. Come on. What are we gonna get? Uh thing. Half a manacle. Oh no. Oh, it's trash. Literally just a metal fastener. Beautiful. Where's metal fastener I've had though? Come on, man, just give me. I pretty much like combed this entire area. Not perfectly. Oh my god, it's another fucking tent peg. Ah, oh, this looks interesting. What is this? It's a fucking tent peg, you dick. There we go. Oh? It's a quan? Yeah. Oh, it's another one of those buttons, but it looks like a really, yeah. Really well preserved one. That's a good condition. I need to remove. God knows. Right, come on, please. Please just have the thing I'm looking for. No idea. Chicken nugget. Fucking needle. Can I get faster spray paint, please? Because it's quite possibly the most frustrating part of it. I actually know a faster shovel. A metal detector that only picks up legendary stuff. 
Oh yeah, but you need to, you know, gather up the pennies so you can save the something pounds or whatever. Is those like... I'm literally just finding shite. And I've got so much more of this map left to investigate. Oh, it's not a carabina. Perfect. Is that carabina though? What do they call it? That uh, it is it's a carabina. Okay. Ugh. I suppose the only good thing about this is it's like... Come on, just like a Nazi helmet, some Hitler gold. No idea. Fucking needle again? Bent the fuck? So what's the, like... So if I go back to the office... No, I don't, like, I don't want to, because... Already explored the vast majority of this place. Oh, come on, let's jump down here. Okay, there's jack shit in this area. Okay, let's head up here. Anything, nothing. Okay, let's head down here. Nothing. Sit over here. Nothing. Let's head all the way up here. Nothing. Zigzag us, bitch. Need to get out of there. Okay, it doesn't look like we're fucking getting anywhere with this. Looks like I've literally, like, dug this area out. Apart from going along the path here, but I doubt that'd be where it was. Okay, I can now be happy that I've explored pretty much everywhere here. So let's go back to the office. Yes. Apparently all I was supposed to be getting was shite. Okay, your email's where you will receive job offers, job offers right down to two sections, jobs and side jobs, the first one holds all the jobs, it will push the storyline forward. Oh, side jobs allow you to gain prestige. So what I should have done is get fucking some actual jobs then, is that what you're telling me? Darp. Uh, this is where you access all the detectors you can unlock, to unlock a detector you need to, re uh, you need to reach the required prestige level and have enough money to buy it when a detector's... Ah, okay. Okay, 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 I understand. Why is that all the money I've got? Uh, here's a collection tile find a list of all treasures collected to sell an item, select and press sell. Trash items are sold automatically. Okay. So...
Can I... I can hit show all. I can see my tr legendary stuff. I also ain't, ain't gonna sell it, but... Okay, so... <laughs> a piece of metal! Uh, me Metal good. Condition iron. Weird. So that's destroyed. Sell an item or wardrobe money equals to the item's value. That's ruined. That's destroyed. That's just a regular one. That's ruined. That's destroyed. Can I actually buy a new metal detector? No. Destroyed. I've got a better one. It's destroyed. That's a ruined 45 case and I'm keeping my ducket though. Auctioneer, yeah, I'm getting all the fucking. It's just a decent one. Is ruined. Just a piece of metal. Just pointless. There we go. I'll keep that stuff. All right. See, now I've got money. All right. So the the entire point is that I'm supposed to be selecting jobs, and I completely did not. So that's what we'll have to be doing in the, the next episode. So as always, thanks all for watching. I've been Steve. You've been awesome. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.